and today we discuss about fundamental duties. During the emergency in 1976, the Indian government formed a committee to realization of duties to the Indian citizens and the committee recommend that we should introduce a separate chapter which is dedicated to fundamental duties. Congress government accept this recommendation and came up with the 42nd Amendment Act 1976 which is also known as mini constitution and the chapter 4th A added through this amendment act which totally made up of one article which name is article 51A and this article introduce our 10 fundamental duties which is number one is respect the national flag and national anthem second is protect the sovereignty unity and integrity of India third is serve the nation when needed fourth is spirit of common brotherhood fifth is follow the national ideals which inspired our national struggle for freedoms sixth is value rich heritage of our composite nature seventh is protect natural environment eighth is develop scientific temper and humanism ninth is safeguard public policy and to absorb violence and 10th is strive towards excellence in all spheres and in 2002 86th amendment act come and added one more fundamental duties which is provide education opportunity to child between age of 6 to 14 years and now we have total 11 fundamental duties and all fundamental duties only applicable on Indian citizens and the objective of fundamental duties is reminder of their duties to Indian citizens, promote discipline in Indian citizens and warning against anti-social activities in Indian citizens. Now we discuss some case laws related fundamental duties. First is Bijoy Emanuel vs State of Kerala which is also known as national anthem case. In this case it is said if on the ground of faith and religion, if you can't sing national anthem, then it's okay. But Article 51A of Clause A says that it is duty of every citizen to respect national flag and national anthem. So, and to save our the constitution and our national anthem and our national flag from disrespect, Parliament in 1971 enact a prevention of insults to National Honor Act. And other cases, M.C. Mehta vs. Union of India in 1983. And in this case, for pulling the mandate of Article 51A, Clause G, Wildlife Protection Act and Forest Conservation Act was enacted by Parliament. At last, we can say, if Parliament want to enforce the fundamental duties, then it can be introduced a act. Thank you.